Hello students, we will see clock frequency, machine cycles and instruction cycle. First of all, here I would like to clarify the machine cycle and instruction cycles are both the same. See, in some of the microcontroller, they used to say machine cycle and some of the microcontroller they use to say instruction cycle so both are same not they are not different so the clock is microcontroller main starter and it is obtained from the external component called as an oscillator it may be rc oscillator it may be crystal oscillator or we can give external clock pulse from the function generator the clock rate is typically referred to as a frequency at which the clock generator uh, of processor can generate the pulse this pulse is used for the synchronization uh, between the task of microcontroller higher the clock frequency means, means the faster the processor and in many application faster is better see if you choose uh, mostly in microcontroller data sheet they are given crystal frequency value uh, and clock frequencies value so the clock frequency if you increase the clock frequency it will decrease the time for example, we know the relation between the frequency and time as you increase the uh, frequency time is get reduced they are both are inversely proportional to each other if i choose crystal frequency of higher value uh, the time will it get reduced the uh, the microprocess microcontroller will react fastly but it is also uh, power consumption it requires more power consumption so clock from the oscillator enter the microcontroller via oc1 pin where the internal circuit of microcontroller divide the clock into four even clocks q1 q2 q3 and q4 so here this instruction is fetched by microcontroller at every first clock Q1. So all the peri peripherals don't come with individual clock signals. So we require, uh, if for example, um, serial communication, we require uh, baud rate uh, to be set. So serial communication is inbuilt with microcontroller, but serial communication requires baud rate, and that baud rate calculation is totally depend upon the crystal oscillator. So the every time we have to no need to uh, take a separate uh, clock frequency for the baud rate generation. Then there therefore four clocks makes up one instruction cycles during which one instruction is executed these four cycles q1 q2 q3 q4 form one instruction cycle in this one instruction cycle the phage decode process and store these four process are happen during one instruction cycle once again during one cycle they phage instruction decode that instruction then process that instruction and last one is store the value after processing then the supply voltage oscillator starts oscillating as you power on the oscillator starts to oscillating the length of instruction cycle is depend upon the frequency of oscillators connected to microcontroller if you use lower or less value of uh, uh, crystal uh, it it takes uh, time to instruction cycle to execute so more it will take a more time to execute one instruction we'll see uh, how to calculate the time for one instruction again sampling for example here i would like to give some example Sam sampling rate of adc baud rate of your URT, uh, then the rate at which timer. So these are directly tied up with your systems and these all the 
peripherals require synchronization as well as clock signal which so it is not possible to give individual clock cycle so microcontroller gives the synchronization and the clock signal to this each peripherals then calculation of time required to execute one instruction in data sheet they are given a uh, crystal frequencies value so and so range for example in peak 18 they are given 4 to 40 megahertz or 4 to 10 megahertz it depend upon the version which version you are going to choose so here i have taken one example of crystal frequency with 4 megahertz what i say it is internal clock frequency it use the internal clock frequency the internal clock frequency so in in, in one instruction cycles how many steps are there four steps are there so 4 megahertz is divided into 4 so it gives the 1 megahertz we know the relation between the time and the frequency time is equal to 1 upon crystal frequency which gives 1 microseconds so for one machine cycle it takes 1 microseconds so some instructions are with one machine cycle some instructions are come with the two machine cycles so some instruction like a move wf it requires only one instruction uh, machine cycle so this instruction will execute in within a one machine cycle so the the execution time for this instruction is required one microsecond if you choose a higher crystal frequency for example 10 megahertz the time will get reduced and reduced so some instruction comes with the two bytes for example like a bit address a btfss this is these are the b bit addressable instruction is requires two machine cycle so that time the two machine cycle into time is 1 microsecond so it requires a 2 microseconds time if i choose a 10 my 10 megahertz then 10 megahertz divided by 4 how much it will be so you calculate student thank you student